Comoros' former president, Hamid Abdullah Sambi, did not attend the second day of his high treason trial on Tuesday. As lawyers said, there were no guarantees he would be judged fairly. The 64-year-old Sambi, the main opponent to current president, Azali Asumani, faces charges related to the alleged sale of Comoran passports. How can we rely on a non-existent text to engage Sambi's criminal liability? This is why he himself considered that a fair trial, notwithstanding what the colleagues said in particular on the challenge, all these elements together meant that he considered the guarantees of a fair trial were not met, and he decided to leave. Jan Fairmont, another lawyer, added Sambi, who appeared in frail health at the first hearing in the capital in Moroni. Monday would no longer attend the proceedings which are expected to end this week. President Sambi decided not to continue to participate in the trial because he felt that the court, as it was constituted, did not guarantee a fair trial in any way. We had several examples of this already yesterday at the hearing. And in these conditions, he felt that defending himself before this court, where the conviction seemed acquired in advance. Sambi, who led the small Indian Ocean archipelago, has already spent four years behind bars, despite the law limiting pre-trial detention to a maximum of eight months.